Jacob is puzzled by his math homework. Mr. Harris gave his class an assignment where they had to look at a series of numbers and figure out how to classify each of those numbers. Jacob isn't sure how to do that. He can't remember the difference between a rational number and an irrational number, a real number, a whole number, a natural number. He just isn't sure how to classify these numbers. Let's take a look at how we can help Jacob with this problem. First, take a look at this chart. This chart shows how to classify numbers and all of the different classifications that numbers could fall under. Notice that the biggest bubble is real numbers. All numbers are real, whether they're rational or whether they're irrational. They're all real numbers. Now, let's look at the next set here on the left. The next set is the set of rational numbers. You know earlier that from earlier concepts that a rational number can be a decimal, it can be a fraction, it can be positive or negative. Decimals and fractions fall under rational numbers. Integers are also under the category of rational numbers. Notice that the integer bubble is inside rational numbers except integers are going to be whole numbers that are either positive or negative. So when we have negative 5, positive 6, negative 12, those are integers. Notice that there aren't any decimals or fractions in the integer circle. Those fall under rational numbers. And finally, we have natural numbers. Natural numbers are our counting numbers. Those are the ones you used first when you were learning mathematics. One, two, three, four, five. All of those are natural numbers. We could put a five comma six, eight, and on and on and on and on. Notice that natural numbers fall under the set of integers. But natural numbers stop at zero. There aren't any negative numbers that are natural numbers. The minute you have a negative number, it becomes under the qualification of an integer. And then finally we have irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are numbers that when we divide them they go on and on and on and on and on without stopping. So for example pi is an irrational number. If you have 3.14 and we all know that that goes on and on and on and on that's an irrational number. It's a decimal without an ending. It can also be in fraction form. Pi over 3 is also irrational. Irrational numbers are also real numbers, but they're in a category all on their own. Now let's take a look at Jacob's homework and see if using what you've just learned, we can help him to classify those numbers. Let's look at the first number. First, we know that all of these numbers are real numbers. So let's put an R next to each of them. Because all numbers, whether they're rational or irrational, they're real. Now 34 is also a counting number. So it's your natural number. Natural numbers are inside the set of integers. So it's also an integer. And finally, it's also a rational number because integers and natural numbers are inside the set of rational numbers. Look at negative 6. Negative 6 is a real number. It's not a natural number though because it is negative. So it's an integer and it's a rational number. We could put RAT for rational. Negative 4 sevens is a real number. It's not an integer. It's not a natural number. It is also a rational number though. Pi over 5 isn't rational, it isn't natural, and it isn't an integer. It is an irrational number. And finally, 1 half is a real number, and it is also a rational number. Now you have classified all of Jacob's real numbers 
that he had had for homework.